Yep, and while that team on that side of the studio saves the world, we're going to get back in the kitchen and have a little bit of fun. In fact, we're going to make all of your festive meze dreams come true with this easy labne and Mediterranean marinade. I bet you didn't expect me to say that for a festive <laughs> table. Um, every blissful batch of African gold extra virgin olive oil is literally that liquid gold. It's pressed with love and cured to perfection, ensuring excellence in every recipe. We're going to put it to the test, and Nondo's going to do it. She's going to show us how it's done. Yes. And there is a lot of flavor here. There's I not a lot, a lot going on, but every ingredient packs a punch. Yes. I'm digging this. And I'm absolutely loving how simple it is as well, right? Completely. Fresh and simple. Okay, so will you help me there with that mint? I will. So I'm going to be making the labneh here. We're going to have already got the, the labneh prepared, and I'm adding some olive oil. I'm going to add some, uh, some salt and pepper to taste, and then once you've prepared that, um, mint we're going to add it here into I our love this is fresh there is so much going on um and it strikes me as the kind of thing you make a big batch you can keep it yes exactly right um that's the, the wonderful thing especially this mediterranean um dip that we're gonna have. I, I love the fact that people are thinking kind of meze style mm. for christmas because it can get a bit much to have like the full-on massive roast with three different meats sometimes you want a little bit of everything and you want the flavor it's probably going to be about 36 degrees outside so to have a full-on um meal like that i don't know i think a lot of south africans are going to be going this route but of course you need the very best ingredients and we are blessed yes. i mean as a country to have african gold sourced here it's perfectly balanced medium intensity extra virgin olive oil it's got a fresh almost green aromatic fruitiness and a very distinct pepperiness which makes it beautiful for finishing in fact perfect for finishing over meats veg pastas bread salads absolutely gorgeous flavor profile african gold really is african excellence at its finest because it's locally produced and it's not only i think pleasing for the palate but for the soul as well i love the fact that we are doing we have achieved this level of product that used to be i think only one country used to be able to produce the very best olive oil in the world and we have taken that label over i love the fact yeah. that our farmers are doing it at this level yes 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 and I, I love when you say it's African, it's African excellence. Is that how you express it? Yeah, how did you express it? It's African excellence. Yes. I love it. This is looking so it beautiful. Looking so do you want to oh. do with the honors of like styling there? All right. Well, of course, we've got we've got it on toast there, so you can definitely Ooh. use it on toast. So you can lay out your your um, your labneh there, and then of course top it off with our Mediterranean. Um, oh, this yeah. is beautiful. Some How gorgeous. pita half squares yes, you could do that. it with, or you could just go fully veg. And what I like oh, about it, the, the, the labneh kind of takes the edge off all the strong flavors because dukkah is quite like, yeah, it's quite spice. a heady, mm. aromatic uh, spice mix. So I love the fact that you've got a bit of balance there. Um, yeah. And this for me is like one of those craving type things. So I'm going to. Oh, and the in. olive's going to be nice and tart and just delicious. Amazing. And those sun-dried tomatoes that we, we, we added there. And, and uh, you yeah, can even pre delicious. prepare the food yourself. I've now planted tomatoes. I will make, make you a tomato chutney. Really? That's yeah. amazing. No, they probably won't be harvested by then, but I'll think about <laughs> making you a tomato chutney. <laughs> I'm going to leave them separate so people can just enjoy as they go and get a little bit of, of everything. But look at that gloss. Gorgeous. Absolutely, Absolutely beautiful, gorgeous. and this really does hopefully plant the seed to think about your Christmas or your festive table slightly differently. I love the idea of lots of little things to taste, meze style for me. Yes. But speaking of taste, let's have ourselves just a little bit of a Oy, taste here. That's delish. Um, I see we've gone with some nice toasted bruschetta. I'm going to yeah. give it a little extra. And what you love about the oil is, I know this. Um, African gold literally has its own beautiful flavor profile, but it carries other flavors as well. Yeah. Raw. Oi. Yummy. And it's healthy. So imagine. Imagine all that flavor. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Once that little train has left the station, the flavor just keeps coming, it's, eh? Oi. It just rolls and rolls and rolls. There's sweetness. There's a little bit of acidity. It packs an umami punch. This is one of the, the most delicious. It's almost like a pickle, but not. Mm. Absolutely exquisite. Mm -mm -mm. If you want to try this recipe, and I really suggest you do this weekend, never mind for a festive table, head on over to expressoshow.com. Mm. Beautiful. I'm going to buy